we worry through the summer season, especially would you say May through October is sort of the big period of uh, arthropod bites. And we worry, of course, about ticks. This area in New England is notorious for the tick-borne illnesses. Summer. It's a time for the beach, barbecues, and yes, bugs. While some insects are just pests, there are others that can carry diseases that can be passed on to you and your family. Lyme disease gets most of the press, uh, probably the most frequent tick-borne illness in this country, and as you know, can affect all sorts of um, um, uh, factors in the in the body. You can get a rash, the famous bullseye rash, that uh, a lot of people are very aware of and recognize, uh, but it can also affect joints, causing swelling and puffing of the joint. It can cause multiple rash lesions in the body, can affect um, the, the brain, can cause something uh, can cause something called meningitis, and um, uh, like a, a a, a, a facial droopiness, what called facial paralysis, and a whole host of other things. Dr. Jose Villamil Martigan, infectious disease specialist at Bay State Medical Center, offers tips on how to keep your family healthy and tick free this summer. In terms of the ticks, we often recommend uh, high uh, shoes or hiking boots and high socks for um, the ticks. The ticks love to be in the brushes, right? If you have shady um, uh, knee or hip level brushes, that's the absolute favorite spot for ticks to be. Tick checks are important when you come back from a hike, when you come back from a walk, especially with our little kids. Make sure you uh, uh, do tick checks. Um, ticks um, love uh, to hide, you know, so the back of the, the the legs, the area of the buttocks, the back, armpits, um, upper back. Dr. Viermil Mardigan says insect repellent with 20% DEET works best and adds if you do find a tick on you to remove it as soon as possible. Tune in to part two of the Summer Bug Bite series for a step-by-step -step video on the correct way to remove a tick. With news from Bay State Health, I'm Jade Rivera McFarland.